Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Angel Writer Speaks, and yes, I'm going back to making videos. Isn't that cool? Um, I actually wanted to make this video, especially in lieu of the old FDA regulations, or the proposed regulations, we should say, that have come out recently. Um, officially, it was on Thursday, uh, April 24th. And I was starting to see articles about what they were going to say and even hear things even before it was officially announced. And it's been talked about and talked about and talked about and talked about to the point where I've actually become a bit, um, let's just say I've become a bit burnt out on it. And I'll tell you the reason why. Um, I know there's a lot of people that are freaking out about this going, well, what do we do? Now? What do we do? Our lives are, are in danger. Yada, yada, yada. Well, first of all, everybody needs to kind of take a deep breath. The document is out there. It's also linked below for you guys, too. Okay? The document is out there. All of these are proposed regulations. Remember that. And while there may be thoughts that, oh, they already made their decision and they're just doing this dog and pony show thing, that may be true, but this is now going to be a case of follow the money trail. You know who made the announcements. You know who's on the panel. Do a little research. Go go and Google these people that have that have been on these calls, who have come out, who are on the panel. Find out who their connections are, if they have any big tobacco connections, any big farmer connections, any senator and representative connections, and then just start going down the line and say, hey, we know you're connected to this and we're not happy. In other words, start writing. Don't just do it to the FDA. Do it to your state and representatives. Even if you're representative or state senator is not involved if it's one of their colleagues write a letter and mention it to him say hey do you know your colleague is a, is against this and we're not happy and this is something that i'm not happy about and maybe you want to talk to them because if some of these regulations go through it might hurt some of the small businesses which because of the ESIC community has actually helped bring business and local economy in see when it where it all comes down to it this is where you actually have to do the money argument. Like I said, follow the money, bring in the, you know, talk about it. Say, look, we know that big tobacco is losing money. We know that big farmers losing money. But you know what? If you put these regulations in, these, these things that you're proposing, you're not only going to have individuals, but a lot of small businesses who are losing money because they're trying to, because they're trying to put stuff into the local economy and they're helping people. So, and basically, also tell them, hey, you want us to go back to smoking? Guess what? This is a good way to do it. But we're not going to do it because of this E6. These E6, guess what? We're doing good. You know what I'm saying? Something else that you need to keep in mind, too, is, you know, yeah, we got. there's a short time window of when people need to put in, what they have to say, whatever. This is the time to, to tell your story and also, more importantly, to those who are non ESIC users and have no idea what I'm talking about, this is the time to educate, educate, and educate. And I'm saying this because I want to use this video as a jumping off point into a video series that I will put in my ESICs and vaping playlist, as well as issues playlist and, and some fronts, because that's where this video is going to go too. And I want to start doing some basic. ESIG 101 videos for those people who have no idea what this is all about, who have heard it on the news. Because let's face it, since the FDA has made this news, now ESIGs are in the mainstream. This is where we could use this to our advantage, where we can write to the news stations, write to our locals, local letters to the editor, talk to local people, etc., and say, hey, this is what's going down. This is my story. This is what we need to do. Now, if you're somebody who is not an eSig user, who maybe might be against it or just has no idea what's going on, but you know people or you've watched videos of people talking about this stuff, guess what? Start watching more. 
start talking to the people, and if you live near a vape shop, go and talk to them. Now, let me give you a little disclaimer here, because there are some people that I do know that use e six for the marijuana thing. This is not what we're talking about. In fact, I don't even know if e six for that use have been proposed, and that's sort of one of those... It's kind of a touch-and-go issue, simply because of the fact that, A, that's something that's not legal in every state, and number two, this is the reason why you want to keep the smoking cessation e-cig users separate from the marijuana users. So for you guys, yeah, there's going to be a video on this coming up, just going a little bit more in depth to so get that explanation, because I know a lot of people are saying, well, why don't you put the two together? Well, here's the thing. We respect anybody's legal rights, even the marijuana smokers. However, if they were lumped in, that would probably get the smoking cessation users a bit of a stigma, and they really don't want that. Now, if you can't understand it, um, let's put it this way. How would you like to be lumped in with a group of people that you don't represent, but you're kind of put there anyway because of how other people think of those other people, but they know you do the same thing. That's kind of like where these smoking cessation people are coming from, just to give you an idea. Anyway, the last thing I want to say to you guys, too, is use the power not only of your voice, but of social media. If you're connected to some of these senators that you find out are part of this panel for the FDA proposal stuff, start tweeting them, start emailing them, inundate them, call them. I mean... Do whatever. Get that energy out there. I mean, this is where they need to know, hey, there are people out there that are concerned. But the one thing you don't want to do, and this is crucial, is don't get too burnt out by this and don't give up. Because, let's face it, if you remember what's happened with the Occupy movement, that's kind of like what happened. They had a good start. You had enough mad people, but then everybody got burnt out. They were being squashed, they got worn out, and then a lot of people just said, screw it, and walk away. Think about it, guys. If some of us are already getting burnt out by this, talking about this ad nauseum, guess what? Those guys are winning. FDA and all those people who are making these proposed rules are winning. And the key is to not to let them win. So how do you not let them win? You just go for it. Do what you need to do, and then, you know, maybe do what you need to do first, and then you talk about it. Because it's one thing talking about it, or talking about that you're going to write letters and whatever, but it's another thing doing it. This is where you seriously need to put your words into actions. And the more you put your words into actions and other people see you doing it, they might take you more seriously. So, in lieu of that, like I said, this is going to be a video and a jumping off point to a video series on some basics on e-cigarettes. What it is, what it's, what's the, what it's used for, some of the issues, the activism, etc. In other words, different topics are going to be different videos. I'm not sure how often I'll be able to put those videos up, but I know I will be keeping this in mind and writing a list out, etc. So, for those of you out there, if you like this video, you want to learn more, remember to subscribe, remember to link, and make sure to share, because sharing is caring, and the more that the word gets out, the better. And also, check out the links below, too, okay? This is Angel Writer Speaks, signing off and saying, see ya, live the creative life.